Hi, my name is Philip, and I recently learned about isolation tanks and sensory deprivation and how it sort of connects you with yourself. I'm very glad about that. Uh, I don't know, let me tell you about my mental state. I work at a really stressful job at a logistics company. I used to be in a sales position where I got a panic attack and they took me out in a in an ambulance. I also have sleep epilepsy, which can really mess with, uh, it's a frontal lobe, which frontal lobe is uh, something, some of the side effects of frontal lobe epilepsy or any problems with frontal lobe is problem solving, memory, and mood swings. Those are all problems that I've experienced. But anyways, that's the kind of person I am. I'm taking the isolation tank therapy to see how that'll affect me, how that'll, I don't know, uh, motivate me. Um, I'm slowly going towards the right direction. I used to want to be a comedian, a musician, a uh, podcast host, which I have a podcast, and a in a, in a, in a band, a writer, and an artist all at the same time. To do six things all at the same time. It makes you go fucking nuts because that's what Geminis are known for. You start a project and you never finish it. So I really uh, focused on taking a break. Last year I finished three albums because I tried to write one, but I was in, uh, I was too picky about the songs. So by the time I released them, I was like, shit, I need to do this because I'm moving into a house. And they didn't let me release it as one album because there were so many tracks. So, uh, yeah, I like to be productive, but I like, but you also want quality over quantity. So I guess that's one thing that I'd like this isolation therapy to sort of narrow my focus on one thing. For example, podcast or um, just bettering myself. I'd like to lose weight. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how I am after that. Because, uh, like, like right now, I'm shaking my leg. Every time I watch a video of me, I'm shaking my leg when I'm talking. There's no one in the room right now. I'm just talking to myself. But uh, I'm getting too excited about talking, and I end up, yeah, I end up, I end up getting anxious. So we'll see what this does about my anxiety. About um, maybe I'll listen to more jazz and Michael Bolton. Maybe I'll skip through the uh, park, uh, you know, through the snowflakes of uh, Chicago December instead of lay at home and watch um, mindfuck movies and read mindfuck books and make some paintings with cow's blood. No, that doesn't work. But anyways, yeah, we'll see how it affects me because I'm pretty scared. I don't know what's going to happen. And the reason why I'm making this is because this is a first hand. I'm not being like sponsored by anybody. I'm just a normal fucking person off the street and uh, yeah I don't want any if this helps me I want people who are scared of doing isolation tank therapy to actually do it you know I've I haven't heard any negative things about it there's people I mean the only negative thing is during it they said that they experience an enormous rush of panic like a uh, you know you know, panic is a huge semi-truck and it just fucking hits you after 20 minutes of being in there. And I think that's kind of what an isolation tank is for people who have things bottled up for that many years. So I don't think it'll happen to me, but I think it'll help me if I do it regularly. And that's the positive way that I'm looking at it is that if it is that experience, it's because it's emptying all the negativity out of me. It's balancing me out. So, uh, and I'm into a lot of weird things, so I think floating in space and imagining myself in, in my special place, like meditation, will be good. I can't, I can't meditate well anymore because, uh, because of my ability to be anxious and, um, being rushed all the time. It's really hard for me to focus, so I think that, uh, isolation tank is sort of like a, a, a forced Nazi experimental way of making you do meditation, you know, nine, you do not give up, you know, so it must be, 
I feel I feel like it's going to be a positive experience. We'll see. And I want everybody who is afraid of doing it uh, to know what it's like. I'm going to show this video to everyone I know and see if they think I, I'm a different person. What's up, everybody? It's Sunday morning. I'm going to go to an isolation tank in at, at 2 o'clock. So it's like 10 o'clock right now. As far as an update from yesterday, I really hated myself yesterday. And by that I mean not literally, but I had, uh, there was nothing to eat in the house. So I, I think I mentioned I had a whole crave case of White Castle burgers. Filled myself up to the brim. It's probably the only time I'm ever going to eat fast food this year. And then last night I had a podcast and I was up till like 3 in the morning. It's up like 6 hours. But I feel fine. I mean, my, my heart is racing a little bit. I don't know if it's the White Castle burgers or not getting sleep. I feel I feel refreshed. I'm gonna go to an isolation tank in about four hours. Uh, other than that, I feel fine. I don't I don't feel sad. I don't feel anxious. I don't feel depressed. Had a great breakfast with uh, five eggs, five scrambled eggs, coconut oil, garlic salt. some tea. We'll see what happens. I just got out of the flotation tank. The first half was uh, very good. Um, I think I was in there about an hour and a half. So the first half, I don't know if it was 20 minutes, uh, you could choose to have uh, music and a blue light, or you could have both off, or you could choose in between. Um, one thing I, I think the first thing that I saw, uh, first 5, 10, it was about 20 minutes for me didn't do anything. I was just, this is dumb, I'm just floating here. Um, then once it hit, uh, I started to see like a eye in the, in the darkness. It sort of looked, it kind of looked like an old man's eye at first. And it sort of morphed into a lot thicker eye. Uh, Sort of like I'd be holding on to a large killer whale. And it, um, for some reason I just started crying immediately. I don't know if it was like I could feel the killer whale's pain. And as soon as, as soon as that happened, I think it morphed into some uh, a pair of eyebrows. And then I think I started just imagining being sliding down uh, on some ice with some polar bears. I think I started kissing one of them on the nose. I, know, I think I was the polar bear. After that, I... Uh, I don't know. I think I just rested there. But the second half wasn't too good. And I know why. I, I just couldn't stop burping. I was getting really nauseous. Couldn't stop burping, couldn't stop farting, so I'll, I'll know for next time. And I want you to, um, I want anybody who's interested in this uh, to know that you don't, uh, don't eat anything bad. Just in general, don't, don't eat anything that's bad for you. It's not a good idea. You'll regret it later on. Alright, I love you guys. Everybody have a great day without any negativity. Yeah, no, I am. Um... Yeah, I got salt in my eye. The, the first time I went in. And then I wet my towel down to get the salt out. And, um... I mean, it, yeah, it really hurt, and I was like, oh shit, I can't, like, I'm not, I'm not.
not getting my my money's worth here. So I had to like completely wash my face off in the shower. And I went back in, in like that first 20 minutes. Well, first first 10 minutes, I'm just like, this is dumb. Like, why the fuck are we here? You know? Did you? I didn't did, think that way. I thought it was relaxing. Did you put the um, music on? Yeah, the music and the. I left everything that was on. Um, you left everything on. It's a lot. I think. I think it's a lot better when you turn everything off. Well, the the waves are good, but definitely the light. When I turn close my eyes, it was pitch black. Yeah, but it's but it's even crazier when it's when you got your eyes open and you turn the light off. I, in my opinion. Because, I don't know, I, I feel it reacts, your eye reacts differently. I think because it's used to having your eyes closed rather than having them open and pitch black. You know, and you know the outside, the bathroom, um, light goes off after like 30 seconds, mm-hmm. most motion sensor. You didn't like imagine anything? Stuff. Did, can like you? I probably fell asleep for like maybe like two minutes and then I woke up. Can Can you tell when? I I mean I feel like there was a moment where you were getting sucked in to that mode, you know. And you could just gotta let it happen. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Did you let it suck you in? Yeah. And you and. Uh, so you could tell the difference between what you were thinking like before you were in that mode. I'm in. I'm like incredibly um, like focused right now. You know what I mean? Like when I I don't know. I'm seeing like that street sign, and all I'm thinking about is oh, that's a street sign. That's all it is. There's nothing else about it. And I feel like I, I, with the, like that's all that's on my mind. It's clear. Instead of you know a hundred thoughts at once. Yeah. Yeah. When when I when I started off, I was just thinking about random shit about the podcast, about how tomorrow is going to be at work, how all week is going to be boring at work sitting at a desk for eight fucking hours and how much I want to run after work. And then, like, I could, I, I could tell how it was pulling me in. You know, I, do you, can you not tell that or no? I did tell. I, 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 like, could immediately feel my thoughts getting better. Like, I could, um, it went, it went from, oh, how is work going to be, how, all, all this negative stuff to, you know, it'd be great to just sit on our porch right now and just watch trees bend, you know? I'm like, I don't even know our fucking neighborhood because we never go outside. And and then, and then just how, how I want to go for a walk. And then I'm like, wait a minute, I'm floating right now. And then immediately, right then and there, I, it was like, uh, you, you know, you know when, um, you know when you see a, a camera pinhole, when there's like a little white light in the middle. I started seeing that, and then I just imagined it turning into. Um, I, I mean, you can laugh at me. I. It looked like an eyeball. That was open. And blinking. And, it, and what really scared me and <laughs> it's driving me nuts because I want to like tear up now but uh, it, it, first it was a, a old man's eye like this silhouette 
logo that I know. And then it turned into being close up to a killer whale. Like, and, and for some reason I could feel like the killer whale telling me that I'm incredibly alone. And incre incredibly like an outsider. But, it, but it's completely okay because this I'm in this sea of loneliness but it's completely fine with me and then um, and then it turned into kind of morphed into eyebrows like mad eyebrows and it's kind of so funny because as soon as it morphed into old I, I, I try to like see closer and think is that something familiar why is it getting angry at me and that's when my stomach started hurting that's when I got s I, I, I'm, I'm still like really nauseous you know yeah, I feel like I need to throw up still. same and I, and I didn't feel sick beforehand but I'll definitely know not to and, but, but you know I'm thinking about all these other things like I, I need to stop like over seasoning shit you know Cause I just had five eggs with like a shitload of garlic salt and when you know before this I'm like ah, that's what I eat every day but now I'm just like who the fuck eats that you know so maybe I mean I, I would definitely want to go again but just I'm glad that we would know what to do you know what do you how do you feel I, I, I couldn't help but uh, sit up in there. It was it was crazy because I feel like I was in synced with my own time in my mind. You know how I wake up at exactly when I need to? Yeah. I sat up in there and I just stared at... Uh, I had to turn the light on again because I, I didn't want like salt to go in my eyes and then I can't see where to go. I was just sitting there and that's when I started like farting non-stop and I completely forgot what, I, what the hell the point is of what I'm telling you right now was it when the music was playing? oh yeah 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 it was like it was synced because I was sitting there for like five minutes and I'm like alright I'm fucking done with this I feel like I'm gonna throw up maybe I should float one more time and then I'm starting to like relax and I'm like maybe I shouldn't float. And then like I heavenly got the right answer. Alright, your session's over. Please have some tea. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how to do in the shower, but I found I had to go out there and get the lady. Naked. I felt like I wanted to walk around naked. No, no, it was a, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know what the worst part was, for me though. I I saw a uh, photo of somebody floating, face first. You know, and I was just wondering like what that would feel like, so I did that, and you think salt in your eye hurts? You know how much that shit hurts going up your nose? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been to the ocean? Yeah. I, I think I've been with you. Yeah, it hurts. Well. The moral of the story is don't eat like shit before this thing. I think the only thing that would be a good breakfast to have before this or, or meal is like plain rice with no seasoning you know what do you feel just pull over and go on the roof all right kelly's throwing up we definitely got to get this on tape
<laughs> That's kind of what I'm asking right now. feel better two weeks later I can tell you this I can't stop feeling productive I really can't before this um, I'm living with my girlfriend and her uh, 10 year old kid I'll I guess we're I guess you could say lower class lower middle class family we're just crawling to make it and um, I sort of you know just to think I'm just thinking about now how I was even two weeks ago you know it's winter now in Chicago it's cold as shit uh, there's bills that we aren't uh, you know we're just uh, making it in the end to pay our humidifier broke so we have to buy like a small humidifier diffuser for our room there's just these little things that can stress you out that can you know you get lack of sleep you get uh, I was, I have a, I had a bad diet, just, you know, pizza, spaghetti, sausages, all this shit for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and, and snacks. And, uh, I just really don't care about that. So, and then I would come home, I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, go play your video games or go, um, you know, go read a book, go, go do this, go do that. And I really wasn't thinking about, you know, how much attention a child needs. So I'm, I, I find myself being much more productive. Like I said, two weeks ago I'm coming home, watching a movie, getting on the electronics, immediately sitting on my phone, not wanting to read a book, not wanting to work out, just literally playing video games or watching a movie. And when I finish up Netflix, I download some movies, and then I finish up my terabyte, and I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Now, I don't want to turn the television on. I feel guilty when I do. I'm trying to teach uh, my ch child, pretty much my child, I'm pretty much being a dad to him, so I'll call him my child. I'm teaching him guitar, I'm trying to teach him how to speak Polish. I'm taking, I'm going to take him out much more, I'm thinking about getting a dog. I'm, every single day I've been running about five miles, and if I run, if I don't, then I run three miles, and I do about three sets of everything, full body workout. So I've, in that aspect, it's really gotten me to to sort of, you know, it's sort of like Chicago traffic. You have a tollway, and you got all these goals in, on the other side of the tollway, and you and, and, that you can reach. And but on the other side, you got all these dreams that are going to the tollway. And the last moment, you're just like, well, shit, I don't got change. And then suddenly all these other dreams are like, well, shit, I don't got change. And you start this traffic. And I feel like going to this isolation tank and being this relaxed has given me the ability to pay my toll and be like, fuck, I got this goal? Oh, shit, I forgot about this goal? Oh, shit, I forgot about this. I forgot that I want to make some of this music. I forgot that I made this song and I want to record it. I'm working on a podcast right now. Oh, I forgot that I want to teach my kid how to play guitar. Oh, I forgot that I want to teach my family how to speak Polish. Oh, I forgot that we should all start reading more instead of watching movies. Biased movies, you know. Let's do something to, you know, spark up and, and hotwire that imagination that still exists. So I've definitely felt a lot more productive. And I remember I used to always come home with horrible anxiety. I used to feel like shit about myself, about my financial situation, about things that I say, about making a movie like this. I would have to shoot this about 20 times before I would put it anywhere because I just felt like shit about everything. And I'm feeling, I already forgot what anxiety feels like. And I've said that many times before. So I don't want to put a hex on myself, but I would definitely recommend an isolation tank. I would say at least every four months is what would work for me. Why? Because it's about $80.
you can pick any isolation tape that suits you so you can try different ones instead of like buy one that doesn't work for you not to mention they're like six grand for lower class people so six grand isn't really lower class and then if you want an actual good one it's like 25 grand and you know it's it's so it's pretty much cheaper to have no anxiety for a period of four months than for example buy weed or buy drugs and alcohol every single weekend for that four months to get rid of any setbacks you got. <clears throat> now that I've said all the positives of that, let's get to the negatives because of all the things that people are scared of. Let me tell you, we, I fucked up in every possible way that you can. You're not supposed to go on an empty stomach. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you wash up, you don't have any open wounds, no makeup, uh, you probably shouldn't have any like hair gel or skin lotion on you got you need a full shower before you go once again empty stomach no caffeine don't drink the night before just like complete detox like you're ready to go to heaven you know and present yourself to yeah satan i don't know and so you want you want to go there prepared well we didn't really have uh, the I didn't know these things, first of all. I found out about them afterwards. That's the other thing, too, that you need to remember when you go. Don't get even a drop of that water in your eyes. Don't do it. That's one of the first mistakes I made. I, I lay down. I always like to dip my head in the water and then go like this to put my hair back when I'm in the shower or something. I, it's just a habit when you have long hair. I went like that. I went like this. Then I went like this again, and a little drop went in my eye. Pure salt in the eye. I had to, I had to take a whole shower on my face, and, and I had to re-relax myself and all that stuff. And it was amazingly beneficial. You, you go, I, I was in a whole different world, got nauseous, I stepped out. They gave you some nice raw ginger tea. I've never tasted tea that organic and fresh. And um, yeah, it was a great experience. Uh, my girlfriend, Kelly, she went. She gets vertigo easily. She gets nauseous easily. So she kind of got incredibly sick. And, yeah, you can see that for yourself. So that's just kind of things you got to remember. you got to go prepared. If you want to do it the right way, come the right way. Don't, don't get fucked up the night before. Don't come on a full stomach of the shittiest food possible, plastic fucking Fisher Price burgers from White Castle. And uh, get good sleep, completely shower, and you really just got to go to expect the best. You know, it really depends on your mind, and you face your own issues. So, yeah. And because of that, I definitely feel like going two more times. You have to get used to that nausea, you have to get used to that flotation, and after that, I think it's just, you know, the world is yours. So, yeah.